Hello everyone, welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. Today we see a number of more examples. This is based on diversity factor 2, I believe it. So just simpler examples I told you, just, just a time pass videos, right? <laughs> yes. So before starting it, let me just revise the concept of the diversity factor first. So have a look, if we have got some connected loads, we've got some connected loads, let's say A, B and C. So basically I've already told you this before, but for now this is just a little revision sort of. So how do you find, this is a connected loads, right? The overall continuous rating. So how do you find the maximum demands? So the maximum demand you find from the connected load multiplied by its demand factor, right? Yes. The demand factor definition is what maximum demand divided by the connected load. Similarly, you can find out the maximum demand for B. Similarly, you can multi uh, find the maximum demand for C by multiplying each connected load with its demand factor. Now, these loads, these loads are basically connected to some transformer, right? So, the maximum demand on the transformer, you can calculate by, by doing what? By having the summation of the maximum demands of the loads to it, that is ABC, divided by the diversity factor among these ABC loads. Now, this transformer is basically connected to a feeder, right? And not a single transformer. So, you have multiple transformer. Let's say transformer 1, transformer 2, transformer 3. So, how do you find the maximum demand on the feeder? So, the maximum demand on the feeder is found by having the summation of the maximum demands of transformers 1, 2 and 3 and divided by the diversity factors diversity factor and diversity between the transformer that is 1 2 3 similarly this feeder is connected to a substation and not only a single feeder so multiple feeders let's say feeder 1 feeder 2 feeder 3 so now how to find the maximum demand on the substation is to find the summation of the maximum demand of the feeders let's say not 1 2 3 now let's say x y z feeders so you have the maximum demand of x y z feeders and divide it by the diversity factor among x y z right yes now based on this i have an example which is 3.9 of the book it has been desired to install a diesel power station to supply a power in a suburban area having the following particulars so number one you have 1000 houses 1000 houses you have with a connected load average of 1.5 kilowatts each and it has a demand factor of 0.4 PD is 0.4 and the diversity factor is 2.5 I believe we mentioned the demand factor with uh, with with this PD whatever it is number two is what it has 10 factories with an overall maximum demand so 10 factories with an overall maximum demand is given which is 90 kilowatts and finally the third is you have seven tube wells each of seven kilowatts and are operating in the morning the diversity factor among the above three types of consumers so among the above three type of consumers means what the overall diversity factor is given which is what which is 1.2 what should be the minimum capacity of the power station or you could say the overall maximum demand so the minimum capacity of the power station should be equal to at least the maximum demand on the power station so the maximum demand on the power station you have the diversity factor you need to know the summation of the maximum demands so have a look first you have what you can find the maximum demand of the house is let's say h so which would be what which would be 1.5 is the connected load multiplied with 0.4 which is the diversity factor now this is for one you could say or this is but we're not given one connected load we are given the total connected load of thousand houses so this would be the summation of the maximum demand of houses and you will have to multiply it with 1000 and this gives you 600 kilowatts now yes 600 yes now what do you have you can have the maximum demand of the house uh, an average maximum demand of the houses would be what which would be a summation of the maximum demand 600 divided by diversity factor which would be 2.5 right yes diversity factor definition is what it is the summation of the maximum demands upon the maximum demand of the system right similarly you have the demand factor this is the average uh, this is the maximum demand over the connected load 
So this comes out to be 240 kilowatts. So you've got maximum demand of the houses. Now you need the maximum demand on the factories. So the maximum demand of the factories is already given is 90 kilowatts. Similarly, the maximum demand of the tube wells would be 7 kilowatt is given. Uh, so seven tube wheels and they are operating all at the same time. So diversity factor is used, you could say one or whatever it is. So seven tube wheels will not given any demand factor or this and that. So the connected load is taken as maximum demand, right? Yes, so you have seven multiply seven is 49 kilowatts. This means what? That the maximum demand of what the maximum demand of the overall area is what it is the summation of the maximum demands which means 600 plus 90 plus 49 and divided by the overall diversity factor which is between them is 1.2 so this comes out to be what 379 divided by 1.2 379 divided by 1.2 which is equal to 316 kilowatts this is the minimum capacity of the station required why because this is equal to the maximum demand of the maximum demand of the area this was example number uh, 3.9 of the book now let's say i jump to 3.19 or no i have 3.17 first 3.17 first at the end of a power distribution system a certain feeder supplies three distribution transformers so i've got three distribution transformer let's say over here i've got transformer one transformer two transformer three whose connected loads are given so transformer one has general power and service lightning general power and service lightning the second you have is residential lightning and for the third you have store lightning and power store lightning and power and the loads are given a b c d a b c d a is what 10 horsepower 5 kilowatt 7.5 horsepower 4 kilowatt 15 horsepower 5 horsepower 2 kilowatt for residential you have e f g h i e f g h i this is what 5 kilowatt 4 5 4 8 15 20 5 4 8 15 20 these are in kilowatts similarly then you have j k l j k l is connected to transformer 3 which is 10 kilowatts 5 horsepower then you have what 8 kilowatts 25 horsepower and then you have 4 kilowatts use the factors given in article 3.8 so article 3.8 is what this gives you the typical demand factors and the diversity factors and predict the maximum demand on the feeder so the maximum demand of the feeder is unknown the horsepower load is motor load and assume efficiency of 72 percent efficiency is 72 percent so article 3.8 is first of all where article 3.8 is on page number 49 of the book it is on page number 49 of the book and i will just show it to you over here also uh, so that if you want to have a look okay this is it okay just take a screenshot from this and you can have a look to it fine okay now let us continue now let us continue so what do i have is first of all first of all i would write the individual maximum demand of the group of consumers is obtained from the demand factors so for consumer a let's say for A, this is a 10 horsepower load. So 10 multiplied by 0 0.746. This would convert horsepower to kilowatts. Divide it by the efficiency also 0 0.72. So this is horsepower converted to kilowatts. And then multiply it with the typical demand factor. This is the connected load multiplied with the demand factor. So the typical demand factor for this type of load is 0 0.65. 
0.65 plus then you have a 5 kilowatt multiply it with typical demand factor is 0 0.60 from that from that table 0 0.60 from that table so this comes out to be 9.74 kilowatts for a Similarly for B what do you do for B you have 7.5 horsepower multiply 0.7462 to kilowatts divide it by 0.72 multiply it the typical demand factor for this much of amount of load is 0.75 then you have plus 4 multiply 0.60 again so the underlying values are from the table this is 8.23 8.23 kilowatts similarly can you not do it for all of them for c d e for c also for d also in the similar way so the total comes out to be 33.6 kilowatts so this is the so similarly if you do for c you do the conversions you can do it right so for c this comes out to be 10.10 kilowatts for d you can do it so for d this comes out to be 5.09 kilowatts so these are for transformer one so which means the summation of the maximum demands on the transformers uh, this one uh, this one the summation of the maximum demand on the transformer is what this is uh, 9.74 plus 8.23 plus 10.10 plus 5.09 and divided by the diversity factor among the transformers which is 1.5 from the table again 1.5 from the table again so this gives you uh, uh, divided by diversity factor so this gives you what this gives you this which is the maximum demand on the feeder no maximum demand on transformer one sorry 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 this gives you the maximum demand on transformer one why because these are loads these are these loads a b and c maximum demand of the loads right and a general power load having this diversity factor from that table so this gives you maximum demand on transformer one is 22.10 kilowatts similarly do it for transformer 2 in the same way similarly do for what similarly for transformer 2 what do you have the maximum demand on transformer 2 would be what it would be the summation of the maximum demands of the connected loads so how would you do it uh, first uh, 5 multiplied by the de uh, demand factor 4 multiplied demand factor 8 multiplied demand factor 15 multiply demand factor 20 multiply demand factor you have these sort of values you sum them all up you sum them all up this comes out to be 26 point this comes out to be 26 kilowatts and then you divide it by a typical diversity factor which is between this sort of a residential load is in article 3.8 so that is 3.5 that is 3.5 so the summation of the maximum so the maximum demand transformer 2 comes out to be 7.43 kilowatts similarly you do for transformer 3 so the maximum demand on transformer 3 would be what the summation of these loads as you have done over here multiply this horsepower load convert it to uh, to what to kilowatts by multiplying 0.746 divided by 0.72 for efficiency and then multiply it with the typical demand factors that is given so add the all up so they all come out to be the summation comes out to be 29.13 and the typical diversity factor is 1.5 for this sort of load and this comes out to be 19.4 is the maximum demand 19.4 kilowatt is the maximum demand on this transformer now you need the maximum demand on the feeder maximum demand on the feeder is unknown so for maximum demand of the feeder what do you have to do is you have to take the summation of the maximum demand on the transformers so you have one maximum demand you have the other two so this is 22.10 plus 7.43 plus 19.4 and the typical diversity factor among transformers is mentioned over here is 1.3 so divide it by 1.3 this comes out to be what the maximum demand on the feeder comes out to be 37.64 kilowatt and that is the 
answer that is the answer right yes this was which number example this was 3.17 similarly you have got 3.18 and 3.19 and can you not do it by yourself so you can i believe i believe that you can let's say 3.19 a generating station is to supply four regions of a load whose peaks are 10 megawatt 5 megawatt 8 and 7 10 5 8 and 7 megawatts are four regions of a load curve the diversity factor at the station is 1.5 diversity factor at the station is 1.5 and the average annual load factor is 60 percent load factor is 60 percent annually calculate calculate the maximum demand on the station number one maximum demand on the station number two the annual energy supplied by the station number three suggest the installed capacity and number of units fine less so the maximum demand on the station would be what first of all the maximum demand on the station would be the summation of the maximum demands divided by the diversity factor these are all given 10 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 divide it by 1.5 comes out to be 20 megawatts 20 megawatts is the maximum demand it's done the energy units the energy units would be what energy units are fld into maximum demand into time 20 into 10 to the power 3 multiply 0 0.60 multiply 8760 the energy units come out to be 105.12 105.12 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours install capacity so the install capacity should be at least equal to the maximum demand at least equal to the maximum demand but we should have about 20 percent extra so let's say i take it as 1.2 of the maximum demand so 1.2 multiply 20 megawatt comes out to be what 24 megawatts this should be at least equal to 20 megawatts i'm taking a 20 percent extra so this is equal to 24 megawatts suitable unit sizes are what four each of six megawatts suitable unit sizes are uh, 6 megawatts and 4 4 units of 6 megawatts so this would fit into the load curve you know how to do this you this should fit into the load curve it should be economical you cannot go for one generating unit why because the load curve is continuously changing so this would not operate efficiently a machine operates about 75 to 80 percent of its rated power uh, so that it operates efficiently so uh, a single machine for a continuous load curve for a varying load curve would be what would be uneconomical and would be you know what uh, it would not be efficiently operating so you have to go for a number of generating units similarly 3.18 is given 3.18 is given whatever it is just read it out for yourself i am getting tired uh, they have got the load curve 6 to 8 20 8 to 11 is 40 and this and that so the unit generated body you have the annual load factor and this and that uh what do you want me to do it just read it. i will just do the mathematical things so you are given the 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 what the load with respect to time is given the load with respect to time is given so what can you do is if you're given time if you're given power you can calculate the energy units so you're given energy units so first you have 20 for eight hours and then you have what 40 for three hours just do it out for yourself just do it out for you i just don't want to do it anyways 3.18 let it be your homework let it be your homework let's say what do i have is I have this sort of a load curve I uh, and I take what I take 
a single generating unit i take a single generating unit and and that i have to take at least equal to the maximum demand and the maximum demand on the load curve is this one so if i take one generating unit to supply for the whole time what do i have is over here it would be operating at a maximum efficiency but over here the efficiency would be minimum and i am wasting many of the power similarly over here the efficiency so so what do I do is I go for a number of smaller generating units. So let's say if I go for one unit over here, then I operate two units over here, then I operate one unit over here. For this, I would have three smaller units. So the three smaller units are more reliable as well, although not more economical, but economical in a sense is that over there you had only one generator so for one uh, one person is uh, enough to operate it fuel would be required for one generator similarly if you, then you go for the reliability so uh, if you have a fault over there it could you have to shut down for maintenance as well you can have faults it can you know uh, be damaged but over here if you have a number of smaller generating units so the fuel cost would increase of course the labor would increase but if one unit is damaged you can go for the other if one is an under maintenance then you can go for the other so Similarly, that should be it. That is it, right? So uh, the the one single greater unit is you know economical, but the number of small generating units are uh, then reliable. And one single generating unit is also efficient over here. So anyways, I finish this video well here. I will see you in the next video with the last topic of the course. We will be starting power factor. Till then, take care. Goodbye.